Holy shift. Has this full moon eclipse energy got you wondering which direction to go? Stay tuned because I'm going to share with you three ways that will help you glow forward on fire and use this full moon energy to your advantage. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Harmony. I'm a twin flame expert helping twin flames around the globe face fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Welcome to my weekly glow show. Holy shift. This energy is very amazing when you look at it in the right way. So I'm coming to you here today on the full moon in Capricorn with the lunar eclipse in order to give you a part two to the energy update that I gave last week on the same topic, but to refine it, to expand it, and to hone in on some very, very specific things that I've been shown to teach and share you. One of the biggest parts of that is after I give you the update of some of the energy pattern that you are to see in this, I'm going to share with you three ways for you to be able to glow forward on fire as I talk about in this timeline. This is a quantum leap. This is taking you light years ahead of where you've been into the next dimension and reality. If you choose to align with it, the energy is there for you. And so it really depends on which route, as I said, as to how you get into that, how you take that leap. And um, yeah, that'd be the, the way I kind of sum this up. But let's talk first about kind of the point of that energy and what that means to get where you're going. So what this energy is doing by taking us to the next level, it is taking us into the deepest, deepest part of ourself and yet integrating that with the highest version of ourself. And if you heard me talk last week about the inner point and the outer focal point that you're merging together, these are the two, this is clarifying those two ways that I had mentioned. And so to do this then, we are having to uncover the hidden truth inside, that shadow that we decided not to learn until now. And that in that, that uncovering that shadow will be the missing link to the peace we need in our reality that gives us our greatest breakthrough. So with that being said, it also will hit you in a place of your greatest resistance, possibly that you've had to date. And as we tap into this energy, what we're doing in this energy is we're clearing it, we're correcting it, and we're collecting it, which we have always done. But again, it's in the multiple pieces. And now we're putting it all together, everything we've learned. Think about this timeline as taking a dance lesson or like a Zumba class to where you've been learning the steps and you've been learning the steps individually. And then you take the first phase and you put those steps together and you create a flow in that. And then you get two to three phases of that and you're learning the process to take it all the way through from the, you know, the beginning of that dance to the end of the dance of that type of movement or flow that depend upon the dance you're doing, right? So in that, we are in that final stage of putting this all together and we're learning these stages and steps of integrating them within our inner self and our outer self. And this is showing up in every area of our life because what we're doing is we're resolving old issues. We are clearing those old patterns as creating the new way that we're gonna do it. But I think what is key here is to say it's not so much the karma anymore of the past. It's more the present karma of this life. That's not to say some of that can't filter through it or this life is triggering something else. But this goes back to what I said on the way you want to get to the finish line. How do you choose to get there? You can bypass having to go through the crap and the mud anymore because the universe is supporting us. 
And I've been saying that for a while, but I feel like, you know, this is sort of like for me coming here and putting everything I've been saying all together in a very crystal clear way, potentially, and even another way to bring out together these pieces, even for myself, is I'm going through the same process as everyone of being able to really look inward of how I can get my message crystal clear, more to the point, being at a place of still speaking for my heart and getting out of the head and not you know, trying to go into the head of, you know, are you doing it right or not right? And all those things, which I basically got out of a long time ago, but from the bigger range of that, then it becomes fine tuning. And that's what we're doing now. Because what we've done is we swung through the, the pendulum, through the contrast and the duality of one side to the other, of our shadow and our light and our weakness and our strength. And now we're bringing harmony and neutrality and balance within all of that within us and everything around us. So I wanna to talk to you today, first before I go into those three ways, some areas of focus that is being triggered from this energy and, and what is behind it. So one of the first places is the self, which that's always the first place because it's harmony from the inside out within you to your outward life. And what people are really being forced right now to do is speak their truth and to be heard and to do it with really precise clarity. And what this is doing, what I'm being shown is doing is it's helping us create that final piece of that inner balance between our masculine and our feminine, our higher self, our lower self, our head and our heart and our you know, internal status and our external reality but what we're doing is we're creating the voice of the heart collectively and internally, learning how to speak more from the heart without the fear of the external judgments, which are a reflection of the internal judgments, which might, which might be linked to persecution, and that list could go on and on in the past. But remember, that doesn't even matter at this point. What matters is that you're doing what you need to do within you to take you to the next expanded level. And in that, the voice, and I'm gonna share with you my experience of that in a minute, and also like illnesses, and those illnesses are coming up to be released and triggering some of the past purge that needs to take place to clear some of that karma out of your physical being. And I've been through this and there's no way out when it comes up. It's things that shouldn't be creating the type of issue that you're experiencing in this physical reality, but in your physical being, your body's going through something in order to purge that past. So it's creating what I'm seeing in and around me is people with clearing mental illnesses, health related issues. And then I, for myself and a lot of people, it's about the voice and about that throat chakra and opening it up to the greatest level. Now, I want to share with you how that relates to me. So I have had and I haven't I don't I haven't wanted to bring attention. I haven't been shown to. This is not coming from my head when I say this. There's no need to place attention on something that you don't really have the resolution to. And you're just trying to move forward in a way that keeps things moving and you're not focusing on the negative side of it. Which, by the way, is also, as I say this, I want you to know, that's also what we're learning is to go into the shadow I'm talking about, which I was taken into to get to what I'm talking about. So I haven't wanted to bring light to the situation because I was focusing on the solution. But I was diligently focusing on the solution for two years. And that has been my sound in recording for my videos. And everyone that comes on YouTube, you will hear them say their story of how long it took them to get their sound right and all of these pieces. Well, I have spent the last two years going through five different mics, two different sound booths, sound in the room, a professional setting everything up appropriately, learning how to record on certain volumes, learning how to produce in multiple software, learning how to finite that into multiple levels of breaking that sound apart and enhancing it. And in addition to that, um, spending 
after I would think I would get it like precisely tuned in and like, oh, I got the formula, the formula would change for whatever reason. And I would always be going through this process of around and around with it. But here's the point. There's multiple points in it because it's my biggest, deepest breakthrough to date. But um, it's not to let it become an obstacle or an illusion that stops you or blocks you. Because that's why I didn't want to put my focus on it in this context of a limitation. I wanted to stay solution oriented, not problem oriented, and draw attention to the problem, so to speak. Um, but on the flip side of that, it be kept becoming a bigger thing. And I'd been going through this inner thing of like, you know, I don't, I want this to be complete. I don't exactly know how to complete it. And I'd even had been working on the concept and the idea of working out a new system, a new mic again, right? And there goes the concept and the idea. You can use this in your reflection of letting go of the old story. Like we're in this timeline. You don't have to take the story with you and you can do some of the same things you did, but you may not get the same result this time. Meaning you'll get the result that's easier effortlessly and fixes the problem by revisiting the same thing maybe you've done. But if you're not revisiting it because you're resisting that you're going to end up in the same pattern, you're actually creating more of the pattern. And I know that and I teach that and I do that every day. Well, this last video, and I haven't had people comment in a while as to the sound, but you know, I've had multiple times different people would say and mention the quality of the sound and that I would need to do something with it. And all I could say is I'm doing my best. Like I don't honestly, you know, honestly, I didn't know how to like unlock that because it was a shadow that was a truth within even my own reflection of my message being heard in a way that's crystal clear without the distortion that was being created from the fragments of the pieces that didn't need to be heard. And you know, I have 10 foot ceilings and I channel a lot of energy. So I know that that was a piece of at the end of the day, what was happening, that vibration was coming through and around me in a way that is also creating distortion and the vibration of my voice and the tone of my voice. So how do you get a mic that like adjust to your precise tone is a piece of what this came down to. And also knowing that you're in, you know, this again, 10 foot ceiling room that you can't, those are things that are out of your control, right? But I think the couple things I really want to point out to you is that I didn't give up. I kept showing up. It wasn't perfect, but it was progress along the way. And that in that, I knew that it would unfold to hopefully somehow let it fall into place. And, you know, I didn't even think about this eclipse, this full moon energy being a piece for my own shadow that I could actually create this breakthrough. But because nobody had mentioned the sound and I had worked extra hard on it, that particular video, then basically, it meant I realized the reflection was that I needed to let go of the old stories and I was determined that I did not want to go forward in this new paradigm and this new quantum leap, taking that story with me, no matter how many mics I bought, no matter how much I showed up in, in a place of trying my best to get the sound perfect, right? So I got to share with you, I want to thank the couple different people that brought that to my attention because there's a couple reflections in that. One is they might've had trouble even saying something to me, which again is exercising their voice, right? On the flip side of that, I had to be open to take that to the next level, which of course I felt my own resistance wanting to try to, what else can I do? I don't know what else to do. I've done all of these things, but they sent me on a, a all night, well, we hour of the morning research to like find, the issue of being your own voice being the problem because these mics I was getting was these all the ones they say best for YouTube. And if you're a YouTuber, you need this. And, you know, I try this one and that one. I even found one that I wanted to try until I saw the price was $1,200. And quite honestly, if I knew it would work the way I wanted it to work, I would invest it. But then I still didn't know if it would work 
the way it should or not, right? So anyway, I ended up buying a $50 mic and that mic has solved the issue that I was having, <laughs> knock on wood, um, that I tested it. So this video will be the true test. And I gotta thank both of those people that stepped up and, and said something. And in addition to that, I wanna share the message of what one of them wrote me because it's so powerful in what I'm saying here. It says that um, she had heard of a motivational speaker, Eric Thomas, say that they had got a new mic and his channel then took off. She said she didn't understand it at first, but now she sees. And so you have an amazing message that's partially being blocked because of minor distractions. She says, I believe that once you clear your sound of your message, that it will be heard and received with clarity and the same will happen for you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I can't wait to hear this and see how it actually turns out, but I would like feedback if anybody has it because maybe a lot of you have thought that, maybe it's triggered you. And that's the other thing I will tell you, it has been triggers and reflections. So for instance, the, at one point in time, I was being shown it was about to teach people. It was more about the progress that it was making, not the perfection of it. There's always two sides to every coin. Going down the same path with the same lesson when you get it in the same experience doesn't help to keep in the same cycle of the same lesson teaching you the same thing. No, the same lesson or the experience could be teaching you multiple lessons within it and you've got to uncover the truth within that to open up, awaken to it and get your clarity out of that. So again, thank you. So what we're doing then is we are basically making peace with our past. And so that's where twin flames are coming in right now. They are returning. They are harmonizing. Some of them are harmonizing and coming into reunion right now. Some of them are clearing up their past in a way that it's creating them more free to go forward on their individual paths. And I feel a video coming on this about making peace with your past, with your twin flame, making peace with your twin about releasing the past basically, so that you can harmonize the energy on the internal scale, which is what this energy is all about that we're talking about because what we're doing is we're bringing light to the unconscious awareness of these programs so that we can release them. An energy can't be seen, it is only felt. So not it's not about what you're doing, it's not about what you're saying. What matters in this timeline is that who are you being in this present moment? Who are you showing up as? And that is where you can't fake it, you know? We, we've been taught, even as entrepreneurs, I've been taught, fake it till you make it. Well, we are in a timeline now that that doesn't work anymore because you can't fake energy. You just can't. In addition to our twins, we're really um, seeing a lot of family healing going on right now. And that's to let go of the old patterns to restore interactions in a new way so that we can go forward with love and keeping in mind that we are redefining the definition of love and how we choose to show up as love, share love, experience love, and love what we do. So that's important, the important part of this energy right now. So now, how do we use this full moon and Capricorn eclipse energy to glow forward on fire? I'm gonna show you three ways in order to do that. But what we're doing is we're going across the bridge here basically from where we are to where we want to be. We are here and we want to get there. We have our internal area that is our deepest area, our deepest lesson within that's merging with our highest version of ourselves that's to come out in reality. And the key to this is bringing those together. So the first thing you need to do is find your inner focal point. What is your deepest part of yourself that has not been revealed or released or uncovered or awakened to yet? So you can ask for that guidance to help bring that to your awareness or you can pay attention to a focal point that 
you've noticed a pattern. You know, that's the other thing. These patterns are really being seen right now. Everyone is starting to see from this higher consciousness and see their reflections and see things from this higher state and everything's moving in that higher vibration for us to consciously crystal clear vision, see the direction we need to take in order to take action. And, you know, in that deepest part of ourself and that focal point, then you need to look at how that matches. I told you this in the last video, I'll put a link below to make sure you can connect to that. How does it link to that external space in your reality? And how can you integrate the two of those? I'm not going to go into a lot of that deeper detail there, here, because it's there. But what I am going to do is tell you how you can take that quantum leap to do that. And how, three ways to do that. And keeping in mind that the goal in this is that your destination, your destiny, your journey has been somewhat predetermined based on the fact of what you signed up to get to and align with and to experience. But your journey there is the free will of this pattern and it's how you choose to get there. So what I wanna ask you to think about as I tell you these three ways to get there, I want you to think about which way you wanna choose and this full moon Capricorn eclipse energy because the choice is yours. And so the first way is to cliff dive. Cliff diving creates a lot of fear, a lot of restrictive energy. It weights you down. You can't fly. Now, I was in Hawaii several years ago and I was watching people cliff dive off the cliff into the end of the, the lowest point of the United States, jumping into the ocean and... Um, I watched this one particular girl, I actually videoed it, I wish I could find the video, but it's somewhere probably on an old phone. She was running out to this, there was this ledge that was dock that was going out over and she was running out and she would get to the end and she would just freeze and stop and she wouldn't move and she came back and then she would run and jump and she would freeze and she would move. Everything that stopped her had to do with what's going to be at the bottom. What is the outcome? What's the journey to get there? How am I going to, you know, um, manage like letting go of this resistance? Like the list could go on and on. But that's what most people are doing right now. They're cliff diving in a way that the weight is weighting them down. They're fearful of um, all the outcome and it's creating restriction and resistance that's preventing you from flying forward. So when you find that inner point within you and that outer point, I want you to really take this energy and this timeline to choose, am I gonna cliff dive? The choice is yours. The other way is number two. A lot of them, us have been doing this. I've been doing this mainly for um, a long time that I'm also seeing as I'm expanding my own self is building a bridge to like take ourselves and be the one that's going to do everything the hard way. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go across, but I'm gonna take one piece at a time to get across to the other side, okay? So think about this as, you know, I've been seeing this earth healing energy of this fracture. Think about it as like a river or, you know, this cliff with this gap from one side to the other and there's this gap. So again, the cliff diving is you want to go to the other side and you want to take the jump, but you're not going to make it to the other side because you're, the weight's going to pull you down and you're going to end up in the river if there is a river or somewhere along the cliff, right? But building the bridge is the old way that a lot of us have done. It's taking one piece at a time, which is taking longer. It's because we're constricting ourselves and we're not willing to expand ourselves in a way that lets us like come out in our full voice, fully being heard, crystal clear message, taking leaps of faith of letting go of old stories, letting go of old patterns and saying that I'm going to show up in a way that I'm going to stop resisting this process and I'm also gonna stop trying to do it myself. You know, these are getter donors, people that are um, trying to go through this ascension process alone and heal yourself it might just be the time to you know help get someone that can help you go to the next level and you know you're gonna get there one way or another that is true 
But you're also, another part of that is some of us chose that bridge because we are the bridge. We're all the bridge because our path in our journey is what we teach. We become the oracle. We become the mission. We become the part of ourselves that in the journey is we needed that path. We needed the long way home to get the lesson, right? But I got to tell you, I have enough lessons, enough journey, enough paths, and enough content that I will be lucky if I can create it in this lifetime. So I don't need another lesson. I don't need to figure out how to learn how to find the path and cut down the woods and learn the pathway to teach you how, all right? Right now, I'm integrating everything I've already learned and I don't need to start from scratch and build all this stuff and take forever for me to get it. And that's one of the pieces I personally am going through to let go of certain parts to bring my message more crystal clear and to weed out the information that's not as important in order to be the conduit with clarity to bring to you what you need to help you go forward faster too. And that's number three. We can springboard to the other side. That is what this energy is doing for us. It's taking a quantum leap. It's not looking back. It's like the Nike, just do it right? Now that doesn't mean we might take a little quick look back like I did at all the lessons that I was learning through the last two and a half years of getting my videos right and the sound right. But whenever it came to this energy and my crystal clear vision and that fine tuning of where I was personally in the reflection, it didn't take me long to realize I got to order another freaking mic. I got to just do it. I can't be waiting. Do I want to take that same pattern of figuring it out with me in this new energy? Absolutely hell no. Hell no. It ain't going with me. So I took action and I'm yet to hear and acknowledge, but this is probably going to be maybe one of the best videos and I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be the best quality video sound wise, which means that crystal clear message as that follower. Thank you again. <laughs> I'm choking up with the, the, uh, the, um, throat chakra I mentioned that, you know, coming here to teach me in that reflection for me to take action, to show up and teach you in a faster, better way to help you go inward in that deepest shadow within yourself so you can springboard out to the furthest you've went thus far. Now in that, I also want to share with you something else that I would send a message. I want to kind of bring this full circle with you and, and kind of show you how this is coming full circle, even in this video. I sent a message to my editor just before I started this recording. And after I sent it and I realized some of the things I said to her was really summing up this message. And so I want to read to you what I had sent her, but I want you to know a little background in it is I've been, I've been writing and writing and writing and writing and a, a project that I thought was going to be like about a month long, tur it's turned out in, that started in March, writing um, is now here we are, middle of July, it's turned out to be three months and it's gonna be probably three and a half, four months. I don't even know at this point, I've gave up trying to put a timeline on it because it's gonna do what it wants to do. Out of writing that card deck, the book for that card deck that I have a contract, publishing contract with, I basically have like used that lessons I've learned in the writing and actually also bringing all my pieces together to create that crystal clear message. And it's being that last like lap around the loop there to pull all my pieces together to come out in this crystal clear way. And so it couldn't align any better. So with that also being said, it also says I can't rush it. I have to let it unfold. I have to let the, the, parts of it come out the way it needs to because I've actually created the um, retreat that I have in August, came out of writing the activation codes for that deck. And so, you know, I wanna invite you, like there'll be a link below the retreat that I'm doing here in St. Louis. And there, I've had a lot of people ask, it is a live event in St. Louis. But if you've been being called, I'm gonna tell you, this is your springboard because that's how I'm putting it together. And I've been putting, that's another thing I was gonna tell you. I'm not just writing the card deck. I'm writing two other books are coming out of this that I've already been there that are pieces. And also the content for that retreat has all came from me writing that project. 
Now, there's no way I could have done that project in one month and got out of it what needed to be gold nuggets extracted out of that to create all these other parts to it and see that. You just can't. And then personally, it's creating balance in my life. So um, I said last time that that was my big key, that you know the balance of that is really, really um, keeping me in check. And I didn't even know how much more balance I could get. But this is what I sent my um, editor this morning. So it says, I had to take a couple days off to recharge and slow my pace. But then it all flooded in and I can feel the flow going now. It took a bit to open the channels, but for the moment, I don't feel any restriction. I also feel this represents so many inner things that are outer reflections. This whole process has taken me back through the process of going deeper, wider, ex more expansive, and yet my highest of all. It is all so great, and all these dots are connecting and colliding again, and I know that the inner resistance was going back to those deeper shadows as well as confirming for myself to get focused within. And, and then at the same time, my inner child was wanting to play this summer. So this deck of cards writing this has really come to birth at the perfect precise moment that I needed to learn my perfect precise inner focal moment of balance within to the nth degree. And so it's another layer of letting go. It's all the same tools, the resources, and the habits, all with crystal clear clarity. But I feel so free, fluid, and fun. It's all just getting lighter and lighter. And so the moral of the story for you is that same exact thing. In this timeline, choosing to glow forward on fire, what do you choose? Do you choose to cliff dive? Do you choose to build a bridge? Do you choose to springboard and take your quantum leap in this energy right now? And I'm inviting you to choose to make it in your present moment. Feel that fluid, feel that freedom, and feel the fun because it will make it lighter and lighter and lighter. And that is where we're to be in this energy. So I thank you for watching. I thank you for following me. I thank you for putting up with potential distortion in the sound and being such loyal and faithful followers. I just can't thank you enough for that. I mean, this is why I show up every week. And in that, I also have a couple resources too below. The retreat information will be below to get signed up for that. But I also have my ebook on Kindle is free today through midnight of Pacific Standard Time of my book, Twin Flame Codebreaker, that if you have not read my book, you're gonna get, get plugged into that. It's awesome. And then also I have a new resource that I released last time and I forgot to mention it, but it's a heart in harmony checklist. If you've followed me and you've gotten my resources, I it just released it last week, but I didn't tell anybody. So obviously it wasn't ready until now because at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're restoring, as I said, the heart is coming into harmony so the heart can create a voice so it can connect to our greatest, most authentic, crystal clear message to share with others as we take and become our expanded version of who we chose to be and use this energy to help you. Awesome. Thank you so much. May you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you next week.